Hello viewers, I'm Shujit Kumar Rai. Today I'm going to talk about Google Earth Engine. What's actually Google Earth Engine? Google Earth Engine actually a cloud-based platform where the user can visualize and analyze different uh, satellite images uh, quickly and more efficiently rather than uh, ArcGIS or QGIS actually. And why I'm talking about Google Earth Engine actually, and this is actually a huge containing huge data set. Actually, Google Earth Engine contains more than 29 petabyte data set, and that's contained in the data set. Actually, the Landsat Sentinel mode is vector data set, uh, terrain and cloud cover, weather and climate, and so on. What's not here actually? This is really, really big data set. And, uh, here is the um, working interface for Google Earth Engine. This is uh, really very easy efficient for the user actually there is mapping sector uh, mapping part actually and there is the asset management and so on and in the middle portion it's contain the code editor and then the right portion it comes in the layer manager and the tax manager and so on actually uh, this is a really a good interface uh, actually for a cloud-based platform and here i'm going to see you actually this is the actually the main uh, interface for google earth engine for starting and here there is a platform actually the overview code written documentation part is containing here where the code editor actually is the main part for producing or executing the google earth engine uh, main portion actually the main part where one can use the code uh, uh, write the code and execute his requirement and then the data set is contained the data portion actually the non-commercial and commercial is the data details here the time lapse uh, this is also a portion of what the Google Earth Engine already completed and uh, the animation uh, for Landsat and forest burning and so on. And like, this is the case study. Some case studies are displayed here. Different uh, project here. The frequent asking question and get started actually here. And um, there is data set or the data portion here. You can see the data set uh, is contains number of data set. Number of data set here. Uh, what's not here actually the sentinel uh, the harmonized sentinel the cloud layer the aerosol layer yeah the carbon monoxide yeah uh, then the um, audio nitrogen dioxide uh, what not actually here uh, there is a big 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 data that is here uh, really big really big this is a uh, i can say that this is the uh, father of data set actually for the satellite image there is uh, actually not father but uh, this is really big you know one can use the whole art and then we can uh, most clearly or more frequently uh, more efficiently calculate it is uh, requirement here and i will show you a little portion or a little um, code editor for land use land cover mapping using google art engine here i have already loaded a code and already run this code to execute this map for bangladesh this is actually the land use land cover map for bangladesh which is prepared from the uh, modis data set the modis data set provides a prepared or prepared uh, the, um, land use land cover mapping here is the data set name of the uh, uh, i would like to go here for, to see you uh, here you can find the description of the data set of modis uh, which i used to uh, produce the land use land cover map for bangladesh here is the description and here is the band this band is actually this data set com covering or containing here the name of the band and the resolution of the data set then you will get here the type of the categories and which categories or which types mean or actually uh, this is the details of the data set and actually I have already prepared this uh, coded uh, in before uh, and I run this and I got this uh, land use land cover map and here uh, is the layer uh, layer portion where I'm already uh, picked the uh, Bangladesh land, go land use land cover for 2018 and here is my date that 2020 2018 Okay, like uh, you can learn this or you can use this code to produce a land use land cover map uh, from what is that set for Bangladesh. Not only for Bangladesh, any region, you can just change the region here. You can, and there are some steps actually the load the data set, then filter the dates, uh, then which image actually you are providing or you are taking for providing this, then which bands you are taking, then the visualization parameter, then select your study areas, then crop. And actually, this is the procedure not only for modis. We can make our uh, land use land cover instantly uh, by using 
any of land set or sentinel data set here i am uh, pfair a land is land cover map for dhaka city uh, actually this is here i classes i classes actually for uh, four classes five classes sorry uh, i use uh, i can make uh, i am uh, making their five classes for dhaka cities actually built up area water vegetation agriculture and bare land and here is my area of interest and this is the code which i use uh, the land set data set i used here and the cloud cover less than one percent and the data set covered the uh, date of 2020 january to december and all the code decoded here and then after all i run this and uh, the, the execution is uh, you are seeing the execution um, in the map portion and the right portion in the console portion you are seeing that uh, there is also some statistics uh, like the overall accuracy of this data set <clears throat> and what's actually the producer and consumer ecology you will see here and the couple statistics is also available here as well as you can see the most attractive things like the area coverage you can uh, obviously find the area coverage this is the plot actually the bar plot so here is the five classes and the area coverage of the east classes for the dhaka cities and this is in hectare unit but you can convert it in square kilometer and then you can download it as csv file or the sdc or png file for your research part this is also possible it's really this is fantastic thing and uh, i would like to say that if you want to learn this uh, how to create this land use land cover as well as NDPI, lst or some others you can uh, join here you can join here actually the uh, advances in geographical research this website will get a uh, courses uh, they are conducting in courses Google Earth Engine for remote sensing and GIS analysis began that to advances. Uh, this is really a fantasy score. I hope this will be a good course actually. And the details of this course you will get here. And what actually the course provided. Yeah, and here is the course outline, the Google Earth Engine. This is the uh, basic of Google Earth Engine. But the uh, Google Earth Engine actually contains the um, JavaScript. This is supported the JavaScript code and uh, you will learn the basic for JavaScript code. So for this uh, coding, you need not to uh, from the background of CSC or the, any other computer uh, science or uh, IIT, not necessary actually. This uh, supports the basic codes actually. So you can learn more easily and we will help you to learn this uh, in this portion. Then second part, we have divided our courses in five part and uh, second part, the Earth Engine Intermediate, you will learn how to good in different indices for in different uh, data sets and and uh, completing their areas then cloud maxing and then used to dem data for calculating the elevation hill shade slope and so on and finally export the data set and making the layout like the uh, adding list and title for our maps and so on and then we learn you the in the third part the supervised classification basic supervised unsupervised and supervised classification and in the supervised classification we use the machine learning model then land use land cover mapping and making its accuracy classification accuracy improvement the exporting image classification result and then calculating the area uh, and the th fourth portion or the fourth section we will learn different air quality mapping like the nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide methane lst and so on as well as fifth section we we will produce or we will conduct a small project learners uh, more efficient or more growing or dynamic uh, for this we will uh, produce a temperature condition index uh, vegetation condition index and vegetation health index for job monitoring actually this is will this will be a small project uh, we will try to learn for the user or the learners and if you want to buy this course or enlo enroll this course actually uh, you can uh, go here and the primary tenor is uh, me uh, mr shujit kumar roy and here is my uh, here is a small description for myself and you can get here i have number of publication here is one for applied water science in Spanier. then the another one on the journal of coastal conservation i'm here and uh, this is a chapter for myself uh, this is a flood susceptibility mapping and then the third one is a landslide susceptibility mapping actually the, this is a work in Saudi Arabia. I'm also here, and this is a Geocarto Taylor Francis uh, article. And uh, I have also a publication in Natural Hazard in Spinger, also. So, uh, this is actually uh, myself. Uh, and, and what's the training benefit actually? The benefit is actually that um, you will 
uh, it is a, a, a online or ads on class we will contact where you can uh, get the recorded the, all the coded here as well as um, get a lifetime support uh, besides uh, a course certificate will obviously provided from from ourselves and then don't wait uh, just enroll here and for the indian this is the price then this is price for bangladeshi and for other countries they have to pay this hundred dollars and just purchase uh, just click here and purchase it and uh, obviously this will be a good uh, learning for you and hope we uh, will we'll see from the next month uh, first week and happy or good learning for everyone and thank you thank you